Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I am Priyanka Vergadia, and in this episode, we will talk about creating serverless websites on Google Cloud. Imagine you're a small company that got really big really quickly, and now you're seeing a lot of traffic on your simple website. But you don't want to deal with the infrastructure setup and maintenance when you could be focusing on your core business. So let's walk through how not to worry about the infrastructure setup for your website by deploying it on managed serverless platform like Cloud Run. If you would like to deploy on App Engine instead, there is a link in the description just for you. Cloud Run is a managed compute platform that automatically scales stateless containers. Stateless is important here, since container instances can be started or stopped at any time. These containers can be invoked by web requests or PubSub events. Cloud Run is also serverless. It abstracts away all the infrastructure management so you can focus on what matters most building great applications. So let's see how to build a website with Cloud Run. First, our setup logistics. Identify or create a GCP project that you would like to use. Make sure that the billing is enabled. Enable the Cloud Run and Cloud Build APIs. If you don't have the Google Cloud SDK installed, today's your day. Go ahead and get that. OK, back to our example. At the time of this recording, Cloud Run is in beta. So we are going to install the beta components of the Google Cloud SDK using gcloud components install beta command, and then we will update the components. This may take a few minutes. To deploy, you can use any web app of your choice. For the purpose of this demo, we will create a Hello World web application in Python and then deploy it using Cloud Run. Create a directory using mkdir hello world and cd into it. Then create a file named app.py and paste this code into it. This code creates a basic web server that listens on the port defined by port environment variable. Now we are ready to containerize our app and upload to container registry. For that, we need to create a new file called Docker file in the same directory as the source files. Here we define the official Python image. Copy the local code to the container image. Install production dependencies. And a command to run the web service on container startup. Now we are ready to build using cloud build by running the build command from the directory containing the Docker file. GCloud builds submit with tag gcr.io slash project ID slash service name. I'm just calling it hello world. You will see success when the build is successful. To deploy the container image, we now need to run gcloud beta run deploy image with the image name gcr.io slash project ID slash service name platform managed. When prompted to select the region, choose one for US Central 1. Provide a service name of your choice and respond with a yes to allow unauthenticated invocations. On success, we see the service URL. We can visit our website by opening that in our web browser. Congratulations, we have just deployed a web application packed in container image on Cloud Run. Cloud Run automatically and horizontally scales your container image to handle the received request, then scales back down when the demand decreases. You only pay for the CPU, memory, and networking consumed during request handling. So today, we learned a second recipe for deploying a web application on Google Cloud. We created and deployed a dynamic web application on Cloud Run and learned that if you host a website on Cloud Run, you can rely on Google Cloud for it to scale with the demand. That's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. Here's hoping you can whip up something great. Join us next time because we will share the recipe to host websites on Compute Engine. If you like this video, then check out the previous episodes too. 
And to see more such content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.